nothing but green lights. Hi, I'm Coach Laura. I'm the head coach at Orange Theory Fitness Central West End. Congratulations on booking your first class with us. We're so excited to have you. I'm gonna go over some expectations for your first class and some equipment basics so you know what to expect on your first day. We'll go over the treadmills, the weight floor, and the rowers. Just know that when you start class, you're gonna start on the rower and you'll end on the treadmill. But let's go over the treadmill first. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice on the treadmills is that they are a little bouncy. So they have a flex deck on them. It helps remove some of the impact off of your knees and your ankles, all your joints, so it feels really nice. You'll only see these treadmills at Orange Theory. The first thing that you wanna do when you step onto the treadmill is to log into OT Connect. So that's this tablet right here. It's gonna read your heart rate monitor. Your name will pop up, you'll hit your name, and then hit yes to confirm. Then all of your stats will show up in front of you. But if you ever wanna go back to this parameter card that's showing right now, there'll be a little button that you can press as well. The main thing you wanna pay attention to here with the OT Connect is your heart rate zones. So I'll be leading you through intervals today. I'll say things like we've got a one minute push going into a one minute base pace, and then I'll count you in and out of those intervals. With a base pace, you want that to feel challenging but doable, and you wanna be in your green zone. With a push pace, you want that to feel uncomfortable, and you wanna be in your orange zone, and with an all out, that should feel very uncomfortable. And orange zone is good there as well, but you may hit the red zone, which is fine as long as you're in control. So always listen to your body if you do hit the red zone. Now in terms of the controls, everything is touch buttons. So down here at your waist, you've got your start, pause, and stop buttons, as well as your emergency stop if you need it. On the left side, you've got your toggles for incline, goes up and down by half a percent. On the right side, toggles for speed, goes up and down by 0.1 miles per hour. Now you also have your quick speed numbers on the right side of the panel. If you hit five and then seven right afterwards, it'll go to 5.7 miles per hour. And then inclines on the left side, and the numbers correlate to exactly the incline that you want to use. Now, 1% is always gonna be our flat road, so we never use zero for anybody. We always wanna be at 1% if we're on a flat road. Power walkers will mostly focus on changing their incline, whereas runners and joggers will mostly focus on changing their speed. Now the last thing I wanna mention is we do ask that you don't jump the rails. It just means that the belt's still moving. You don't wanna jump off to either side like this. It is a safety concern. We don't want you to trip or fall or knock someone else off. None of that is good. Um, we wanna make sure you stay nice and safe. So next we're gonna talk about the floor, but first I also wanna mention there are numbers on the ends of the treadmills. That correlates to your station number. You'll head to the same station number whenever you switch stations. Let's head to the floor. Now back here on the floor, you'll find your station number above your mirrors. Again, always make sure you stay at the same station number throughout the class. On the floor, you have everything that you need at your station. You've got dumbbells, benches, BOSU balls, T-Rex straps, and mini bands, as well as some communal heavier and lighter weights if you need them as well. I'll demo everything you have to do before you do it, and then there will also be a video playing the whole time that'll show you the exercise and the rep count and how long the block is. If you ever have any questions on the floor, just flag me down, that's what I'm here for. We're gonna talk about the rowers next. So the last thing we'll talk about is the rowers. This is where you'll start your class. Now when you have a seat, be careful because the seat does move. You're going to adjust your foot plates if you need to. The Foot plates pop up and out, and then you can slide them up and down. You wanna make sure that the straps are the widest part of your feet. Put in both feet and then tighten it by pulling on both ends at the same time. Then you're gonna grab your handle, palms down at the widest part, thumb wraps underneath. Shoulders are down and back, so you're sitting up nice and tall. This is called the catch position. From here, we drive back, heels go into the foot plate, straighten the legs, lean back a little bit with the core, Pull the handle between your belly button and sternum, and then back out in the reverse order. Arms first, then the core, then the legs. Powerful leg drive back, and then two counts forwards. One count back, patience, patience on the return. Rowing is 60% legs, 20% core, and 20% arms, so it's very important that you focus on that leg drive. Let's go over the monitor next. To turn on your monitor, you hit the leftmost button underneath the screen and then your numbers will pop up here in front of you. On the top left-hand corner is your stroke rate. That's how many times you pull out the handle in one minute. Top right number is your intensity, which we usually have on watts, but we'll sometimes use split time or miles per hour. We'll explain that in class. Bottom left number is your time, and bottom right number is your distance in meters. That's the one we use the most often. We'll usually give you a distance to go. If you ever need to clear your screen, you just hold the on button, 
until the numbers clear out. All right, so that's all I have for you for now. I can't wait to have you in class. Just remember when you come in for class, you're gonna start on the rower, then you'll head to the weight floor next, and then you'll end on the treadmill. Get excited, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll see you soon.